Salam sejahtera para pengundi Holland Bukit Timah GRC dan anak jati Singapura. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Tasya Wan Sang Hao. I would like to thank some people here uh, who have been coming to the rallies with us every night, okay? For all the policemen here, uniform and not, and the team from ISD who's amongst us, thank you very much for your time here. You are doing a pretty good job, don't you agree? Okay, we have also received some feedback that some of our voters from Holland Bukit Timah GRC have received a booklet about Mr. Kong Wai In, our candidate from Bukit Panjang SMC, instead of candidates for Holland Bukit Timah GRC. You see, one of our supporters had kindly sponsored the outsourcing of the delivery of the booklets to a company that used the front two numbers of the postal code instead of the full postal code. As the boundaries of our GRCs are seemingly arbitrary, the company could not deliver the booklets to the specific blocks that we had specified. And I believe some voters from other areas have also received our booklets. We apologize for that mixed up, but if you are really keen to have the booklets, of the team from Holland Bukit Timah GRC that comprises the four of us, Chi Sun Juan, Paul Tambaya, Sidek Malik and myself. They are available at the merchandise booth. If, if it's still available, okay? There are not many left, but you can pick it up from the merchandise booth. Many of us are struggling to pay the high cost of our HDB flats. Rising food and transport cost, the high medical cost, while at the same time facing stiff competition for jobs and CPF money that is locked away when we are old. Our infrastructure is bursting at it seems with frequent train breakdowns. Our hospital beds are filled faster than they can be built. Singapore workers are the most unhappy in Asia. Our frail and elderly have to collect cardboard boxes to make some money. And the list goes on. Over the past seven days, you have heard from the SDB team about the alternative ideas that we have to offer from a wide range of topics such as education, CPF, housing, the Malay community, population, cost of living, and health care. For each of these alternative policies, we have given details about the issues at stake. We want the government to be accountable to the people of Singapore. We want more transparency in how our money is invested and how policy decisions are made. Our policies are aimed at making housing more affordable to all Singaporeans so that we do not have to spend a lifetime paying off our loans. Our healthcare policy aims to keep healthcare affordable to all. We are not stopping anyone from getting healthcare from private hospitals if you can afford it. We say go for it. But for those who need help, we want to give the assurance that your healthcare costs will not ruin you financially. Many of you were informed that all these so-called SDP's dangerous and irresponsible proposals could bankrupt the country, ambush Singapore's sovereignty, burden the next generation, and lead to massive job losses. And what does the PAP promise? 
the PAP promised more of the same. Even though you have been telling them that you do not want more of the same. You see, the PAP is not able to change. It is not in their DNA to listen to people. What the SDP is interested in, and I believe all Singaporeans out there are, is how do we preserve and strengthen our national identity in this increasingly globalized world? How do we raise our children, provide for our families, and grow all gracefully in this land that we call our home? Many policies have a huge impact on our lives sooner or later. How do we make sure that our policies are in the best interest of Singaporeans. Only by having more opposition members in parliament. Opposition members who are competent, constructive and compassionate. On my way here just now, I called a friend who has generously donated to our election campaign. Yes, thank you to him for that. We had a nice conversation and at the end of the conversation, I told him, come Friday, please vote wisely. And he lives in the Holland Bukit Timah GRC. He laughed and said, ah yeah, you want my vote? Just say so lah. So I told him, you, like all voters at Holland Bukit Timah GRC, are an intelligent man, critical thinking, able to discern what's good and what's not for our future. I do not need to tell you how to vote because deep down in your heart, you know that the SDP cares for you, not the PAP government. This election is certainly about our future. It is our future at stake here. That's why I chose to make a stand, to be a candidate at this general election. I believe that we can have a say in our future. I was inspired by Barack Obama who said this, in the face of impossible odds, People who love this country can change it. I'm happy to be working with the elderly in a nursing home. The only reason that I'm willing to give that up is because I care. And because I believe that the SDP can make a difference. If you do not like the direction that the PAP government is leading us, don't just get angry and complain about it in the coffee shops. Do something about it! Stand up for what you believe in. For you have the power to make a difference with your vote. Do not let fear stop you from voting for the SDP. Vote for SDP for a better future. Undila yeah. SDP for SDP Bole. Yeah. SDP can. We are humbled by the messages of support they have received from all of you. And we are extremely grateful for every act of kindness that each and every one of our friends and tireless volunteers have shown us. As the treasure of SDP, thank you for all your support, as financially, especially throughout this campaign. But the campaign does not end here. We have a lot more work to do and bills to pay. So please, 
Continue to contribute generously. And please volunteer your time to, be act, to act as polling agents and counting agents. Thank you very much. Good night. SDP can!